me now explain this to you. Why do we need these glasses to watch a 3D movie like Jurassic Park? And why were these glasses replaced by these polarized ones? How do 3D glasses work? Let me tell you something, we can't see anything in 3D. You guys know that we need both our eyes to see everything around us and you can see this tiny gap between both our eyes. Because of this, if there is an object in front of me, my left eye sees it in a particular angle. But my right eye on the other hand sees it in a slightly different angle. So our eye captures two slightly different images. Now, close your right eye and look at your finger with your left eye. It will appear in one position. Then close your left eye and look with your right eye. It will appear in a slightly different position. You'll notice the position changes quite a bit when you try switching between both your eyes. I can actually see the shift in the images. Okay. Our brain then takes these two different images from our eyes and uses them to sense the distance of the object from the eyes. That is, when you try closing your eyes alternatively, if the object in front of you shifts more, then the object is close. Similarly, if you look at a distant tree by alternating your eyes, the tree's position will only change slightly. Our brain uses this to sense that the object is far away. This is called depth perception. It's because our brain uses these two angles of information to produce a single clear image. It's because our eyes are so good at capturing these two angles of information that we perceive as a 3D image, even though a 2D image is what is formed on our retinas. If two eyes can give us such a clear image, what if we had a third eye? Just like how both our eyes perceive an object in almost 3D using two different angles, 3D movies like Jurassic Park use two cameras. However, these cameras are too large, so the distance between them is greater than the distance between both our eyes. So, they use specialized lenses and mirrors. And for big productions like Jurassic Park, filmmakers often use advanced camera systems that captures the detail needed for a truly immersive 3D experience. Then if you take these two videos shot on two cameras and edit them, then directly project them onto the screen, then it will look like this. Two blurred images. Just like how both our eyes get different angle images to create a 3D perception, in theatres we need a way to send the video shot on one camera to one eye and the video shot on another camera to another eye. So the brain can combine these two videos and give a 3D experience. But with bare eyes, it's not possible. So back in the day, these red and blue 3D glasses were introduced. In this method, the video played on the screen has one video in red and another video in blue. So what do these glasses do? The red side blocks the red light coming from the screen and only allows the blue light to pass through. Whereas the blue side blocks the blue light coming from the screen and only allows red light to pass through. This type of color filtering method is called Anagilf method. By filtering colors this way, the glasses make sure that both your eyes receive different angle views of the video. Then, your brain processes the videos and makes it look 3D. However, since we are using color filters, the final video is in the shade of red and blue, which isn't ideal for picture quality. So to solve this, polarized glasses were introduced. What I have in my hand are polarized sheets, which is actually what these glasses are also made of. So if you look into this polarized sheet, it is made of incredibly thin polymer molecules stretched in a particular direction. So in these glasses, they are stretched horizontally on one side and vertically on the other side. But how does this create a 3D effect? Let's look into it with an experiment. The light coming from the sun randomly oscillates in all directions like X, Y and Z. Let's now assume this rope to be a light wave. Then what I have here is a vertical slit, just like the polarized sheet. Now when we pass this light waves through the slit, let's see what happens. If we send these light waves through this vertical slit, only the waves oscillating in the vertical direction will pass through. The rest of the waves are blocked. You can see it here. Now let's see how these light waves pass through this horizontal slit. Then if we send these light waves through a horizontal slit, only the waves oscillating horizontally will pass through. The rest of the waves are blocked. This process of filtering the wave in one direction is called polarization. Similarly, polarized glasses are used to filter light waves. 
In movie theaters, for video shot with two cameras, one projector sends out vertically polarized light and the other sends out horizontally polarized light. Or some projectors project alternating horizontal and vertically polarized light. When these are combined and viewed on the screen without glasses, they will still appear blurred. But when you wear the glasses, one side of the lens only allows vertical waves to reach your eye and the other side only allows horizontal waves. It gives us a feeling like we are watching the movie at two different angles. Our brain then processes these two filtered videos as usual and makes them appear 3D. However, there is a disadvantage in this. When you tilt your head, the linearly polarized glasses can't effectively filter the vertical and horizontal polarized light. See? When you tilt your head, the movie becomes dark and you won't be able to see anything. So to solve this, circularly polarized light was introduced. To convert the linearly polarized light into circularly polarized light, they use a quarter wave plate made of birefringent material inside the projector. This converts the linearly polarized light into clockwise and anti-clockwise circularly polarized light before projecting it. Similarly, one of the lenses in your 3D glasses blocks clockwise waves and only allows anti-clockwise waves, while the other lens blocks anti-clockwise waves and only allows clockwise waves. Come on, let me show you visually. I have a mirror in front of me. When the ambient light passes through this particular lens, it becomes circularly polarized light. For example, through this lens, it might become clockwise polarized. When the clockwise light hits the mirror in front of me and reflects back, its polarization changes to anti-clockwise. Since this lens is designed to block anti-clockwise waves, it appears black when I look through it at the mirror and the other side looks clear. Similarly, if I try to view it from the other lens, it becomes dark. So one of the eyes receives clockwise waves and the other eye receives anti-clockwise waves. Then the brain combines these two waves and that's how we perceive a movie in immersive 3D. Comment which was the best 3D movie that you've ever watched and don't forget to subscribe Chitty Globally.